Good. Well, I was going to say good morning, everybody. Sorry. I know. Just kind of quit there. Anyway, <laughs> this is Jason. Good morning, afternoon, evening, um, middle of the night, whatever. Whatever time you're watching this. Uh, it's morning for me, so that's why I always say good morning. Well, not always. I'm rambling now. Anyway, this is not a game video, as you may have surmised. Um, however, um, I wanted to go through some things that you can do to optimize your PC. And this is going to be for Windows, because uh, I don't have a Mac. Um, and I will do Linux at some point. That's what I'd uh, like to do. Uh, there's some great games available for Linux now via Steam, and I'm very excited about that. But, um, so we're going to, um, um, yeah, well, let's get into it here. I'm sorry. All right. Um, we're going to go to your start menu and type in um, msconfig. There we go. There we go. And these things you're going to want to do, especially if you're gaming and recording from your computer, because uh, <laughs> both of those things can be very, very um, resource heavy on your computer. Um, as well as, even if you're just recording you know, to it, you're going to want to make sure you have as much as uh, available as you can. You may notice, actually, my desktop here looks very ugly um that is because i have turned off almost all of the visual enhancements for windows 7 yes i am running windows 7 it's not windows xp or anything like that um it is windows 7 it's just stripped down um, as far as the graphics side goes so i'll get into that and show you how to do that that's a real speed boost uh that'll help you out just normal day-to-day -day operations as well um if you can tolerate not having the fancy transparent windows and stuff like that. It's a good way to go. All right, so um, your boot, I set this to three seconds. This doesn't really affect once you're in and uh, you're recording and everything like this. Obviously, you're already booted up and everything like that. But you can change that if you'd like. It's normally set to 30, I believe. Okay, services, you're going to want to go through here. Uh, I would hide all Microsoft services if you're not used to um, doing this process. Uh, I would, uh, and I would go, just go through, and everything that you do not need to run um, regularly, I would uncheck. So, like my um, things I have checked, my Avast antivirus, because you know, of course I need that going. Uh, bonjour, because I use uh, some of the wireless options with uh, Apple, so I like to have that running all the time. Um, uh, this is... I forget what this is for, but it was important. <laughs> I like to have my Google services updated, so I do that so I don't have to do it myself. Uh, but you can see I've turned a lot off, actually. Um... Bluetooth service, I use that for my wireless keyboard. Um, clock controller, yeah, keep that on. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. Uh, splash top remote, I use that. Um, anyway, you know, y you get the idea. So just go through and disable anything that you don't think you're going to need uh, running all the time. Um, and then when you launch it up, so like let's say I were to launch up BlueStacks to run some Android apps, um, it would start those services um, then, um, but it won't start them on startup, which is really helpful. Okay, let's take a look at the startup. Uh, these things will run at startup all the time. So you're going to want to go through, again, just you might want to extend that out, and just go through and select anything that you don't feel you're going to need on startup um, all the time. So, um, yeah, I've pared this down to about half of the things I need. So, you know, it's a good way to go. 
Um, so there we go. Um, if you've made any changes, go ahead and hit apply and then OK. It'll ask you to reboot. Um, you can reboot now if you want, but um, you might want to wait because we're going to be doing a few more things. So um, if you want to speed up your desktop um, and you don't mind the ugly uh, toolbar or taskbar, whatever that thing's called, um, you're going to go to, well, a shortcut. Um, it, if you have a pause button on your computer, um, some don't, which is odd, but uh, you're going to hit the Windows key and pause at the same time. It'll bring up this window. If you don't have a pause key, um, just go to Start Menu, Computer, Right Click, Properties, and you're on the same screen. Um, so there you go. And then you're going to go, you can get there several ways. You can go to Advanced System Settings, uh, really any, uh, so Change Settings, Advanced System Settings, Remote Settings, those will all bring you to the same thing, just in a different tab. Um, and then you're going to go to your Advanced tab. Uh, and then Performance. And I have one thing checked. I wanted to show thumbnails instead of icons because that's really handy when working with photos and thumbnails and stuff like that for my videos. I'd like to know what video is what. So that's the only thing I have uh, selected. Um, you don't have to be quite as aggressive as this. You can just click adjust for best performance and Windows will try to figure out uh, the things to disable that will help your performance. But I was a little bit more aggressive than you really probably need to be. And advanced. Um, your paging file. Normally you can leave this at um, uh, automatically uh, ha have Windows do that automatically for you. Um, I did mine um, manually um, it, as I like to have my paging file at 150% um, of what my RAM is. So if my RAM is, um, if I have 2 gigs of RAM installed, that would be 3 gigs uh, of storage for a paging file. Um, so... Um, I have 8 gigs of RAM actually, so I have 12 gigs of paging file, which is, again, probably a bit excessive, but I like the speed boost. So, and it, I, it's not like, not likely going to use all 12 gigs, that's a little ridiculous, but, again, that's what I like to do. Um, cancel. 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 There we go. Alright, um, so there's that. Um, one thing you're going to want to do as well, um, especially Windows, it, it it needs to be defragged every once in a while. Um, and the cool thing about Windows, I think they introduced it in Vista, I'm not sure. Um, Vista and up, you can schedule it. You don't have to download a separate defrag program that has a scheduler in it, um, which is nice. Oh, wait, hang on. So you're just going to go type in disk defragmenter and open that up. Oh, wait a second. It's taking its sweet time. Ah, -da -dee. So anyway, while we're waiting, how's everybody been doing? I'm doing good. Um, and why is that not coming up? Hmm. Weird. All right, let's see. All right, well, <laughs> might as well go over one more thing since we're on the topic. Um, you can go to, if you hit um, Control, Shift, and Escape at the same time, you can get to your task manager, and you can see what is running and uh, what is taking up your, your RAM. And you can get a quick and easy snapshot you can see Chrome is taking up a good chunk of RAM, um, and it's not even doing anything. It's just it's just sitting down there. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was a big yawn. I uh, oh wait. Oh yeah. 
Okay, that's a system one. So you can't really do anything about that. You just kind of let it do its thing. All right, so... um. Hmm. I'm not sure why... I can spell... Uh, let's see... I could run that in the command line. I don't know. Whatever. Um, just the fragments are. Let's try it one more time. I'll, I'll try to figure out what's going on with that and um, get back to you. Maybe it's not wanting to launch with my recorder going, which is very possible. Uh, it could just be an error with um, Windows Explorer wanting to launch system programs. Although that doesn't make exact. Yeah, whatever. I'll figure it out. All right. So. Um, and then one more thing. Well, two more things, actually. Um, I use a program called Glary Utilities. And what this does is it, it just kind of goes through and makes sure everything's up to date with your computer. Uh, well, not up to date, but, you know, running smoothly. It keeps, it keeps all the gears greased, um, which is really nice. Um, it has the... Uh, it has all of this stuff. You could just scan for issues, and bam, it um, it'll take care of that for you. Tracks eraser if you're paranoid. Um, that's under the one-click maintenance. Uh, so if I were to, heck, let's do that. Scan for issues. It's gonna look through and find issues in all of these things that might need to be fixed. Uh, I haven't done this in a while, so it's probably a good idea that I do that. Let's go over to Overview. Um, so, yeah, I have a slow boot time because um, my computer is not exactly top of the line. So, um, mine's it's a mid-class, you know, it's not it's not too shabby. But, you know, it I wouldn't mind a nice gaming PC. <laughs> um, and there are probably a few things I could do. I... I generally tend to have a lot of services running because this is a work computer as well so I need to have things running on startup um, so I can access information um, to help my peeps at work I've never used the word peeps before <laughs> it just doesn't fit I'm never doing that again okay um, you can turn on automatic maintenance I prefer to do things eh. The, the one beef I have with automatic maintenance is I don't want it to start, a ma start to maintain while I'm recording because that's not a good time to do it. Um, but, you know, you, there's, there's so many things in here. You can go to your startup manager. Uh, you can do your, uh, manage your startup programs from here as well. Um, I should have mentioned that first. But I wanted to show you the... Uh, built-in Windows way to do it first. So if you're if you don't have this or you don't want Glary, you can you can do it that way. Uh, so you can go through, pick your startup uh, um, programs, schedule tasks, any plugins um, that you want enabled or unenabled. Um, these are uh, some shell extensions. Um, very handy. Um, where I work, so I'm leaving those application services. Again, same old thing, just in uh, a program with a nice GUI. Uh, oh, I love that word, GUI. GUI. Okay, uh, check for updates. Um, let's see here. Go to our advanced tools real quick. So, there is a ton you can do here. Um, Disk cleanup, I would run that every once in a while. That will um, go through, remove um, temporary files, um, internet history, things like that. Um, just, you know, kind of give your uh, computer a nice, nice clean um, feel to it. And I haven't done this in a while, obviously, because we're getting close to a gig here. <laughs> um, and, uh, but anyway, these are just some things you can do to help boost the performance of your computer. And if you have a, a mid-grade computer like mine, I don't have a gaming laptop, actually. 
and th this is what I use to record all my games on. Um, it really, it's not ex it's not a high end. It's a business class computer. Ah, sorry, I needed some tea. Um, it's a business class computer, and it handles um, the games that I've been playing uh, just fine. Um, obviously, I'm not playing anything too too crazy on here. Like uh, I, I would like to get Skyrim up here at some point, but I probably wouldn't be able to run it on full specs, <laughs> as they'd probably just destroy this laptop. But if I get it, I will try it and post a video so you guys can see. Um, but anyway, those are just a few things you can do to help improve the performance of your computer that you use for gaming, um, recording, and or both. So, if you, um, I was going to say something else. I lost my train of thought. I heard a loud noise outside and that made me, um, it, it's, it, 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 it's so crazy how quickly I'm di distracted. I'm like that dog in, um, Up. Squirrel! Okay, anyway. Um, uh, anyway, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, so, yeah. If you Also, if you have any questions or things that you've heard of that also um, help with your performance, post it in the comments and uh, chat me up about it. I'll... Uh, See, this is this is the kind of thing I do for a living. I'm a PC tech. So um, if you have questions about any of this, please let me know. Um, all right. Until next time, this is Jason signing off.